Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to sensors and transducers. And uh, in uh, this video, we'll be discussing another uh, measurement device. And uh, this uh, device or uh, sensor, it is used for the measurement of a physical quantity, which is called as torque. Okay. And uh, this measurement device is called as torsion bar, okay, for the measurement of torque. So, before we uh, discuss this uh, device, first let us uh, discuss some basics related to torque. We all know that, but just to take the discussion in a systematic way. So, torque basically is, uh, is the turning effect of a force. Let's say we have a point, a fixed point about which an object is able to rotate. Okay, and from that fixed point, a force of magnitude F is applied in a perpendicular direction. Okay, in a perpendicular direction from this fixed point and the distance between the point of application of this perpendicular force and this fixed point that is R. So torque basically is the product of this force and this perpendicular distance from the fixed point about the axis of rotation which causes it to rotate. Now the greater the torque, the greater the turning effect. Suppose this force is applied here, it will be you know comparatively difficult to rotate it, rotate the object. We can uh, you know a real life example is the opening and closing of the door. If we hold the door right from the extreme end, it is easier to open it or close it. But if we try to you know open it or close it by uh, holding it from the middle or somewhere towards the you know the other end then it is difficult so just like that this is called as the uh, torque the turning effect of a force so it is the product of the magnitude of the force uh, which is applied perpendicularly from the point the axis of rotation and that perpendicular distance r torque product of force and perpendicular distance now it is represented by the greek letter tau now that is torque now coming back to this torsion bar this is used for the measurement of torque basically it is it comes in the form of a, a metallic rod okay of a circular cross section in some cases it is of rectangular cross section as well and uh, this uh, you know cylindrical rod it is uh, connected to the point where uh, torque is to be measured the source of torque the, the the revolving or rotating body it can be anything it can be used to measure this you know the speed of a motor or anything like any rotating device okay any rot rotating device so it is connected to that point and when it is connected okay that that fixed point the torque t it causes it to rotate because of the force application so here f and f f acting upwards on the other end and downwards it causes it to rotate in this direction because of this you know application of force and the resultant torque which is produced this cylinder this metallic cylinder it is subjected to strain okay it is subjected to strain and has an angular displacement slightly okay which is from this point O initially it is like this and because of the strain which is produced it undergoes bending, slight bending 
and that bending angle is given as phi okay now here capital L is the total active length of the cylinder capital R is the distance from the point where it is fixed or it is connected to that source of torque and where the force is produced capital R that is the total distance then R subscript O is the outer radius of the cylinder R subscript I is the inner radius of the cylinder T is the torque which is produced with this F multiplied with R now if we if we somehow uh, measure or uh, if we want to get a measure of the torque we have to establish a relationship between this bending angle and the resultant torque because of which it undergoes bending due to you know the strain that is produced so that is given by this mathematical formula the angular displacement it is expressed as this and as you can see here it is directly related to the torque which is produced so it is given by the angular displacement phi because of the bending because of the strain which is produced on the cylinder that is given by 2 capital L capital T divided by pi capital G R subscript O to the power 4 minus R subscript I to the power 4 where capital L is the original initial active length of the cylinder before it was subjected to any kind of force strain anything like that T is the torque which is produced because of it being connected to the source of the rotating the rotating body which which is the source of torque and G is the modulus of rigidity of the bar or the material the metallic rod and R0 outer radius Ri is the inner radius so here the important thing is to establish a relationship between the bending angle phi and the torque now following this mathematical relation the output which we get which will be in terms of this angular displacement degree it can be directly calibrated in terms of the torque which is produced so that we can establish or we can get uh, torque as phi multiplied with pi g r04 minus ri to the power 4 divided by 12 okay that will give us the torque and that will be the calibration calibration relationship for the measurement device for that proper signal conditioning techniques have to be, have to be used signal processing techniques have to be used and we'll get output directly in terms of torque okay so this is the basic uh, principle of torsion bar which is used for the measurement of torque which is the turning effect of a force and this gives us a relationship between the bending angle or the angle of bending of the bar material the torsion bar material because of it being subjected to a turning force and it gives us this relationship so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much